Living in a small or crowded space can be exhausting. So I thought today I'd share with you 10 small products that have completely changed the way that we use our small 630 square foot two bedroom apartment. Now, despite being completely against open shelving for storing things, in a recent push to make our apartment easier to maintain, I recently picked up these matte black adhesive shelves for our bathroom, which have completely transformed how this space performs and feels. Now, because of its size, I share a bathroom with two people who own multiple shampoos, body washes and lotions, which would often leave our space cluttered and damp, with bottles often falling off the slippery edges of our tub and sink. Typically when renting, you don't want to be drilling through your bathroom tiles to make way for cabinets. And even if you're not renting, tiles can be incredibly easy to crack, which is an expensive and time-consuming mistake to fix. However, nowadays, shelves with adhesive fixings are stronger than ever, especially on glossy surfaces like tile or glass, with these shelves holding up to 12 and 30 pounds respectively, which is more than enough for our massive shampoo bottles and wet washcloths, which keeps our bathroom surfaces dry and clutter-free, and they can even be removed easily using a hairdryer and even reapplied if kept clean. And in my opinion, they're a much better solution than those plasticky suction cup alternatives as they're stronger and they actually look quite good due to that opaque painted matte black finish which masks the fixings and whatever you choose to put inside of them. Another problem that you can run into in a lot of smaller and busier homes is wet areas around your sinks, especially if you have several people sharing one bathroom and one kitchen like us. For our sinks, we recently started using these diatomaceous trays that somehow solve this problem through what seems like magic. I honestly don't know how this really works, but from my understanding, this material is so porous that it can hold its weight in water and evaporate fluids super fast by spreading them out incredibly thinly throughout its structure. So when it comes to sinks that have less time to dry out in between uses and in bathrooms that have no windows like this one, they can save your home from the eyesore of soggy surfaces and the risks of mold, lime scale buildup and water damage. And it helps that they look pretty neat underneath a soap dispenser too, which make them a far better option than some of those silicon mats that you see that look a little bit naff and still end up trapping water all on top of them and underneath them. Now, on the topic of water being a problem, a decent sink caddy is another essential that removes the eyesore of wet sponges and cloths by keeping them hidden from view inside the sink, whilst also elevating them so that they can dry properly. And I especially like this one, as it also includes a little hanging rail for dishcloths too, which we use instead of expensive and kind of wasteful kitchen towels by having a stack of fresh microfiber cloths on hand whenever we need them. These caddies attach with the same kind of adhesive fixings that we also have on our bathroom shelves, so it's not going anywhere unless you really want it to. And because it's inside the sink, it's practically invisible, which firstly makes it far better than suction cup alternatives because they often come loose when you're doing the washing up when they get bumped, and also caddies that leave all of your soggy sponges and cloths on the counter, which kind of ruin the whole aesthetic of a nice kitchen anyway. Now, in the kitchen, another problem that I've run into is with limited drawer space, which often causes all of our utensils to end up in one big mess, leading to damaged or stuck items, which is really frustrating to deal with, or simply a really frustrating cooking experience as you can never find what you need. So as cooking is something both Nisha and I aspire to do better and enjoy more, bamboo drawer dividers solve this problem while also allowing unlimited flexibility for changes in a drawer's layout, which is important as often our homes grow and change with us as we do. Now, I really like these because they're bamboo, which is more sustainable and much better looking than plastic. And as they're dividers instead of plastic trays, they use far less material and are less restrictive too. Now, I'm not really sure that this one counts as an essential, but I found that music can do so much to lift the mood when doing things like cooking and cleaning. And because of this, we constantly have stuff playing in our house. So a good Bluetooth speaker has become a must. 
However, after trying a few, I've realized that some of them either sound a little bit rubbish and muffled, or they kind of look a bit ugly. Or worse, some of them can't seem to remember more than one device at a time, which makes switching to another one an absolute nightmare if the last person who used it isn't around to unpair their device. So I recently picked up this speaker from Soundcore and I have been blown away with how good that it sounds and it seems to so far solve all of these problems. Now, I don't really know how this works, but it has something called spatial audio, which is a little bit hard to describe, but I can only really explain it as it's seeming like the whole room is being filled with sound. I also love that it doesn't come out of the box with thumping bass, and instead you can simply up the bass by pressing one button, and it can easily remember all of our family's devices, which makes switching really easy, and it looks and feels fantastic too, with a proper metal finish and carry handle. I actually have a bit of a plan for this, as I've been a little bit underwhelmed by the low end of our Bowers & Wilkins equipped projector, so seeing as a soundbar would take up far too much space, this speaker actually fills this void perfectly as it also has a low latency aux input, which is something that not many Bluetooth speakers seem to have these days. So in short, this thing really does it all, while taking up barely any space and without drawing too much attention to itself too. Another part of the home which doesn't get much attention is the cleaning closet, or in our case, just the closet. <laughs> and what I've been finding is that things like mops and brooms take up far too much floor space, and their size often means that they end up getting knocked over, especially if you're using this space for other things like recycling or hanging coats. This is an incredibly basic item, but I had to add it on this list, as a simple adhesive mop hanger takes handled items like mops up and off the floor, which not only helps them dry a little bit better, but it also frees up the space below them which we find incredibly useful for just stuffing items out of sight before they make their way to their proper home. And as for the mop itself, we've been using this incredibly glamorous Swiffer wet jet with these reusable microfiber cloths, which has actually been incredible as there's a hack where you can just heat the bottle lid with a hairdryer so that it actually frees you to refill it with your own floor cleaner, which has made mopping our food covered floors almost effortless and low cost too. So in regards to seating, this is kind of several items and more of a principle than anything else, but under seat storage is crucial when living in small spaces, as there's just so much space that's wasted underneath sofas, beds and chairs. As we have a two year old, she has a bunch of toys. So what we've been doing is storing them underneath our sofa in this low profile container that we picked up at Walmart when we first moved to Canada. And and as well as this, we have a small basket that we originally intended to use to hold blankets, but now it's been repurposed as just a place for her to dump all of her things. However, in hindsight, I realized that we would have been far better off getting an opaque fabric under sofa container from Amazon, as it hides what's inside far better, and it's a little bit less noticeable too, as it's the same color as our floors. And another item that's better than our current basket solution would also be a storage ottoman, as this has a lid which can be used to hide whatever's inside, and it can be used as a seat or a side table, which is really handy for small spaces that don't have the room for a proper coffee table. Alternatively, should storage not be a problem but guest seating instead, you could also get these incredible little ottoman cubes that turn into five individual stools, meaning they can also function as a footrest or side table when paired with a tray, or it can turn into five additional seats should you need just a few more chairs around your dining table. Now, unfortunately, because our apartment came with a counter height kitchen island, this isn't something that really works for us. But back when we had our coffee to dining table in London, this little product would have been absolutely game changing. Which when combined with an extending table like that one, it can work incredibly well for entertaining guests. And I think it's far better looking, inconspicuous and more functional than a simple set of stacking stools that you just have to hide away in your closet somewhere. 
But finally, with more and more modern devices making their way into our homes, it can be kind of hard to find a space to store them, as they're somewhat fragile and they take up a fair bit of space on a table or surface too, which means that they often end up getting stacked on top of one another, which can be quite inconvenient and even risky. But just like how books are stored vertically for easier access, this can also be made possible with a laptop or tablet stand like this one. And instead of once being an item that I once viewed as being tailored towards desk setups, these actually make a lot of sense anywhere in the home. And they can even be useful for things like letters and remote controls too. And when you place something like this next to a charging station, it's a fantastic way to reduce clutter, save space, and make sure all of your devices are ready to go next time you use them. And in some circumstances, they can be way more effective than shelling out for something like a desk shelf to store them underneath. Now, the one thing that COVID did for us was make working from home much more commonplace. However, if you're in a small apartment, it can be hard to find space for a dedicated desk that you only may be using once or twice a week. This is where folding desks come in as a great way to create yourself a little workspace that you can quickly fold away when you need it to, for things like entertaining guests or exercise or anything else that requires you to have that bit more space in your apartment. And with this desk in particular, because the feet stay grounded, there's no lifting it up or rotating it, just like you would with a fold up barbecue table. And the matte white desk finish makes the whole thing pretty inconspicuous too, as it also covers the majority of its legs, which should make it blend in with a painted white wall pretty well. These are fantastic as they're renter friendly should you not want to fix a tabletop to a wall on a heavy duty folding hinge like I did back in our London studio apartment. However, I did also recently discover that you can now even get single leg standing desks over on Amazon. So if you need a permanent desk setup with a small footprint, this could make for a fantastic standing work area, which you could then pair with items like a small desk shelf and a proper monitor. And this makes the health benefits of this style of working far more accessible to those of us with small spaces, whose only spot for a desk may just be in place of something like a bedside table. And something like this is going to look and work way better than those awful looking standing desk converters that look a bit like a desk mounted ironing board that can often cost almost as much as a standing desk frame itself. But speaking of which, just as a little bonus item, Ugreen are sponsoring this video, who you'll know that I use for charging pretty much all of my devices. They recently sent me across this 145 watt fast charging power bank, which means that if you want to take your laptop to work remotely or just move around your apartment while staying plugged in, you now can. With an 100 watt output for powering something like a laptop, plus an additional 45 watts for fast charging something like a phone, or you can charge up to three devices simultaneously, which makes things like extended work sessions out on my balcony or our apartment's common area a possibility, and it removes the risk of not being able to find an outlet at your local coffee shop or at an airport when traveling. With 25,000 milliamp hours, this actually gives me enough juice to power a MacBook Pro 1.3 times over or charge an iPhone 14 5.6 times over. And it can be fully recharged in just two hours with a 65 watt fast charger, which is like five times the speed of your typical power bank. So when I'm on the move, I can quickly top it up and cover all of my family's devices as it works with almost any device that you can think of. And it helps that it has a really smart and premium design too. And of course, you can check this product out along with all of the other products that I mentioned in this video down in the video description.